Offensively, getting the assist going. Welcome back to Los Angeles and a bird's eye view from above the Staples Center. It's been a clinic by Chris Paul. That's one thing to get to the rim, and it's another to finish when you get there. I mean, he's done both so far. He's done a great job of being able to complete plays at the rim, finishing drives nicely. And now let's check out the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go for the second half of basketball. So for the Clippers right now, Ron Butler, Blake Griffin, and DeAndre Jordan, their front line. It's Chris Paul and Chauncey Billups at the one and the two. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give them two chances at the free throw line here. You know, one of the strongest players in the NBA, to me, has to be Meta World Peace, also known as the Artest, formerly known as Ron. You like that, don't you, Clark? Huh? <laughs> yeah, I like that play on words. I do like that play on words. But clearly, Ron, one of the strongest guys who have ever played. And for Meta World Peace, some have said the name is a little ironic when you look at that elbow he threw that caught James Harden right in the head late last season in Los Angeles? Well, throughout his career, we know Meta World Peace, formerly Ron Artest, has been very erratic. His issues off the court well chronicled, and he's made progress. There's no denying that. And, but with anybody that's had issues, whatever the compulsive behavior is, there are flare-ups and relapses. And that's what we saw with Ron, unfortunately. He's done a lot of good things. He won the NBA Citizenship Award and deservedly so. So hopefully we won't see any more episodes like that James Harden elbow. That was hard to watch, Kevin. Lakers trail by four. Let's check out what Doris Burke has for us. Gentlemen, the acquisition of Chris Paul by the Clippers, greeted famously by Blake Griffin, who joyfully said to teammate DeAndre Jordan, Lob City, after hearing the news. That name took on a life of its own, becoming Lob Angeles in time. But the team started to back away from it, making clear that highlights weren't the emphasis. It was winning. But maybe the more meaningful reaction from Griffin was this. The only thing I'm going to promise is that when you hear the Clippers, it's not going to be a joke anymore. I can guarantee you that. Kevin, love it. They've got probably the best team in franchise history. We'll see where they go next. Howard misses. Solid advantage in the rebounding totals for them so far here. You know, in every game, but particularly in a close game, every little advantage you can use helps, and they're certainly enjoying one on the glass here. Reverse that one home now. <laughs> that was nice, real nice. The agility on this one. Yeah, you love that body control. Oof. Oh, that one had it all, guys. Power and grace. Just beautiful. And Gasol gets it to go. What an amazing trick shot to confound the defender. Oh, man, that's awesome. He's taking him to school right there. Jordan with a screen on Kobe. Here's Billups. Good. Billups has got four points this quarter. That's an old-fashioned finish there, guys. Going to the finger roll to get the easy two. Right side, Kobe. Nice defense from Billups. He's got a nice touch on that shot normally, but good defense there clogging the lane. Here's Butler, and it's sent back by Howard. Gasol drives in, got a piece of it, and taken away by Paul. And oh, here we go now, Billups now be back. And the dunk by Odom. And some instant offense coming for them after that steal. Yeah, that's terrific, beautiful transition basketball. No chance at all for the defense to get back and set up. Points in the paint have been the main course, or main entree, if you will. They just keep pounding it inside. Well, they're seeing no resistance defensively in the paint area, so the defense has got to be tougher. Back to Paul. The three. Count that one. Paul's got 11 points. And here is Gasol. How it gets to Kobe. He got it up. And it's not going to go. And a great show through three quarters. As we enter the fourth, who will carry the day? Clip. Clippers leading by eight. So with Gasol on the bench. This is the group Mike Brown has right now. The Black Mamba, Kobe Bryant, and Meta World Peace are the two and three. Antoine Jamison out there with Howard. And it's Nash in at the one. Tries to save it, and that's out of bounds. The Lakers will return possession. Matt Barnes is checked in for the Lakers. 
The Clippers also making some changes. Butler comes in for Grant Hill. And Chauncey Billups has subbed in for Jamal Crawford. And stolen by Billups. Now the Clippers moving it up. Paul with the first. Oh, 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 ridiculous oh, move. Tore it down that time. <laughs> Went for the two-hand throw down there. Needed safety and power. <laughs> That's how you do it. Yep. No, nothing fancy, but he finished with force. That was a nice replay brought to you by Sprite. You can't stop him. You can only hope to contain him. The Clippers shooting 69%, showing you what a well-oiled offense looks like tonight. Butler against World Peace. And it's Meta World Peace with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. DeAndre Jordan's checked in for the Clippers. Here's Paul. Pass to Jordan. And panic dunk. Throwing it down with one hand and making it look easy. Easy and fun. He just thrives on making the D look silly here. Yeah, which is something he does pretty often, Kevin. Doris Burke has an update for us. Doris? Thanks, guys. I got a chance to hear what Mike Brown was saying to his team. He really wants them to try to push the tempo here, see if they can get a few easy buckets in transition, saying, listen, we're playing station to station right now. Let's try to catch them off guard, guys. Let's see if they can do exactly that, Kevin. Ball with the ball. Heading now by Barnes. Into Jordan. The kick out to Billups. Five on the clock. And there's the call on Howard. That's his first foul. Not much doubt about that over the back call. Yeah, he was all over his back that time. Looked like he was going for a piggyback ride. About a minute and a half through the fourth quarter now. Alley-oop pass. And Griffin slams it in. Flawless alley-oop that time. That's some real stylish basketball there. Almost looks like a play they've been rehearsing for a while. Well, that's the beauty of the alley-oop. It, it appears that way, but really, it's just timing and, and sort of a, an innate sense of awareness between two teammates. And the Clippers making a switch here. Odom's checked in. Paul gets a screen from Billups. And it's Paul penetrating. Griffin, some nice ball movement by the Clippers. And it's Butler missing. Ball against Nash. World peace. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Odom, the pass to Butler. And the pass to Paul. There's the dish to Griffin. Back to Paul. Poked away. Kobe with the steal. Hands it from short range. Well, he's been scoring pretty well on just a few attempts. It might help them out if he was a bit more assertive. Well, you know, one of the toughest commodities to find in this league, Kevin, is a great point guard, not only on the floor, but off the floor. Chris Paul is a model leader. He, he's a guy who is uh, probably as talented as any point guard in the league. But his leadership qualities, I think, put him over the top. You know, it isn't just the inspiration off the court or making big-time baskets. I mean, the way he passes is infectious to his team. I mean, it's contagious, and it usually ends up permeating the whole team. Same goes for his defense. I mean, he'll come up with that big steal and can completely change the momentum with the kind of plays he can make at both ends of the floor. They get a hand on it. Nash drives in. It falls! And now they trail by just four. Yeah, they're not going to miss too many of those. That's high percentage stuff there. And an intentional foul right there. So the first one drops, and that puts them up by five. How Gasol's checked in for Matt Barnes. So he gets them both, and it's a six-point ball game. And now the lead really is looking very secure after those two free throws. Nice job. Twenty-three seconds left to play here in the fourth, and here's Kobe from the arc. Cut it! What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. Man, he makes a lot of tremendous plays at that end of the court. 
We see it from him every game. And now an intentional foul. They need the ball back as soon as possible. Yeah, no question the right call at this point. You can't let them just dribble it out. That's right. I mean, you've got to send them to the line and hope for a few misses. He drops the first one, and that gives them a four-point cushion. Second one is good. Getting both at the line, and it's a five-point game. And I'll tell you what, those two free throws give them some much-needed breathing room, guys. So it's now a two-possession game. There's Nash with the three, and it's the Clippers with the rebound. They've led by as much as ten, and that's an intentional foul. Good on the first, and that increases their lead to six. He's off that time, second free throw missing. Now here is World Peace. And Nash, here we go. Over Paul. Buries it! Well, that's his shot. He is really proficient from that mid-range. So it's the Clippers taking the win in a close